In today's video, we're going to talk about how to use the WordPress block editor. The basic WordPress block editor consists of five elements. More can be added by various plugins, but these provide the base functionality you will be working with day in and day out. Title block. Whatever you enter here will be displayed as the post or page's primary H1 tag. Block slash content area. This is the area in which you will add the various blocks that make up the content of your post or page. Add block button. Anytime you see a plus in a circle, you can click it to add a new block. A dropdown will appear from which you choose the type you want to insert. Document options tab. Under this tab, you will find everything from categories, tags, permalink, comments on off toggles, and more. Block options tab. This tab handles the options for whatever block you highlight. If you click into a paragraph block, you edit the options for that block alone. Now, what are blocks? A block is a single customizable element of a page or a post. It could be a single paragraph, a list, an image, or a gallery. These blocks can be moved around and adjusted as you like, customized individually, and give you control over your content in a way that a what you see is what you get editor simply cannot. You can see a full list of WordPress blocks in the WordPress support documentation. How to create a group of blocks. A group of blocks is a collection of blocks that you set to function as a single block. You move them and style them as though they were a single unit, but the group is made up of multiple elements. Creating a group is easy. You just click on a block, then hold shift or control and click on another. If you want to group all the blocks in the post, you can press Control or Command A to select all. Then when you see the icon in the upper left change to a square made up of small blocks, you can click it and select Transform to Group. If you need to ungroup them, simply click the three dot drop down button and select Ungroup. The blocks will now function as individuals once again. What are reusable blocks? You could turn any block from a one-time block into a reusable block from the settings menu. A reusable block is not a template, but rather a global block for your site. You create a block or group of blocks, and then you click add to reusable blocks. Any changes or edits made to that reusable block is then reflected across the entire site, changing every instance of the block instead of just the one that you edited. We have a complete guide to reusable blocks that you can check out at the link in the video description. The title block. The title block is your poster page's primary H1 tag. This is the one block within the WordPress editor that you cannot remove or reposition. You must use CSS or external page builder settings to adjust more. Block slash content area. Fundamentally, you can consider the content area to be where you type. If you want, you can begin typing, write out an entire post without ever even considering blocks at all. Each time you hit enter, you will add a new paragraph block and to add a different kind of block, click on the plus in a circle and you will get a drop down of every available block. You can add YouTube video blocks, images, galleries, audio players, lists, quotes, and so much more. Each of them have their own settings and styling options. Document outline, word count, and other info. In the top toolbar of the page, you have an eye in a circle. Click it and you are presented with a full rundown of what your document consists of. As long as you have used heading blocks, you will have a document outline appear in addition to the word count, paragraph number, and block count. Block options tab. In the top right corner of the WordPress editor, you will see a tab that says block. As long as you have a block selected, you will get a contextual set of options for that block type. However, any changes you make will only affect the single block you have selected. Each block will have specific options you can adjust within them that only apply to that type of block. Every block, however, has an advanced section in the tab that lets you apply CSS classes to that block. You can then style them as you see fit using external style sheets and code. Document Options tab. To the left of the Block Options tab is the Document Options tab. If you've ever used WordPress in the past, this will be familiar to you. In here, you will be able to adjust the categories of your post, the tags, add a featured image, adjust the permalink slug, add an excerpt for theme SEO use, and enable or disable comments. WordPress Editor Options dropdown. If you click the three dots dropdown icon in the upper right of the screen, a large vertical dropdown will appear. You can adjust a number of settings here, all of which apply to the editor itself rather than the document, blocks, or content. The top toolbar toggle means that rather than the options for a selected block appearing as a contextual menu, 
it will be in a fixed area at the top of the screen. Full screen mode toggles the WordPress admin dashboard on or off. If you disable full screen mode, you will see the left hand sidebar that includes the typical dashboard options. And the visual slash code editor toggles works exactly like in the tiny MCE editor. This is usually done to troubleshoot issues with the editor or to fine tune a single area or block or to perhaps paste in the content that was written in an external editor that wouldn't format correctly across multiple blocks. Global WordPress block editor shortcuts. And finally, you can press shift alt H to display the following list of shortcuts in the WordPress editor itself. With that said, that was an in-depth look at the WordPress editor. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.